Welcome to TickLake Video Tutorials. In this video, I'm going to give you more information about how to create shared credentials and how to create external locations in Azure Databricks, mainly working with Unity Catalog. And previous two sessions, I gave more information about what is exactly Unity Catalog and how to configure or how to create a Metastore and Catalog in Databricks. So this session, when if you go to the data, okay, you can find your uh, there's a data explorer. Whatever you created a meta store, that meta store you can find. Whatever you created a catalog, that catalog you can find that. So previous session I created this meta store. I created this catalog. Inside that I created one schema. Then inside that I created one table. So similarly, if you want to create a additional external locations external storages so how to create that how to create you will have a multiple options here there is a plus add you can choose a first external storage uh, look, credentials then external location the same thing you can find here as well so while creating a meta store will specify that credentials so that credentials you can find here that is access connector okay access connector for azure databricks subscription that's a resource id if you go there access connector we created this access connector resource id this resource id okay so use this resource id to create a stored credentials so that is okay there is a stored credentials options right click on this add then go with the manage identity this is a recommended one create adb stored credentials and they provided that connector id so that connector id okay then manage identity like assign many user assign manage identity is optional just go on to create so now you see, this is the existing one while creating a metastore, we gave that. I created another one, you see this, this is some with a name. Now go and uh, external locations, currently nothing is available. Let's go and create a external location. So for that external location, we need to select the storage credentials, provide that path, which container. So ABFSS container name at the rate, storage account name dot dfs dot code dot windows dot net so what i'll do i'll go to this storage account a data lake gen 2 which i created earlier under containers i'll create a new container data lake so i'll use this container i'll create a new container called data lake so this data lake go to this container properties copy this so the path should be like this okay azure blob abfss then container name which is a data lake other rate storage account name okay so if used directly like this same thing which i told you earlier it should be adls gen 2 and not a blob storage you should use a dfs and then so adb adls gen2 external location okay so external location name i'm giving this and i'll give a data lake just a ext data lake and the url abfs and uh, container name at the rate uh, storage account name dot dfs dot code dot windows dot net if you have a folder you can give that folder then create okay so now i created external location now if you want to test this connection there is an option called test this connection and it will test are you having a read write execute privileges so done everything is done now you can go and uh, read data now you can go on in just via uh, add data using a data lake so using data lake so which you can use that 
it's not the storage. Okay, so default it will give you a template while uh, this is for direct configuration. Okay, this is for configuration for data lake, which whenever you go with the uh, import data, there's a option called add data. Even while creating this, you can use these external locations. You can use this external locations and uh, credentials. We already created this. Even I tested this working fine. Okay, so this way which we can create storage credentials, external locations. Okay, and even you can use a third party integration. So these are our third party connectors. Third party connectors. So you can use the ingestion, data ingestion. So these are our ingestion tools, multiple tools are available. So that's a partner connect. That's a partner connect. Okay, so this we created this catalog under Metastore, one catalog, one schema, one table, which we created. Okay, and if you go to this data, delta sharing also is available. There's a delta sharing also is available and which you can share the data, which you can add a new participant information. Okay, so the data bricks recipients only. So which you can add a new recipient you can save the data. This is about. So we created a storage credentials. We created an external location. We created a catalog. We created schema. We created a table. The next one is a recipient. You can create. You can share the data. So that's about total unity catalog. Under unity catalog meta store. We created a meta store, we created a catalog, we created an external location, we created a st stored credentials, schema, table. So next video, we'll see more information about the recipients, share, reuse, and other options. Okay. Thank you. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel. We'll see you in another video. Have a good day.